Okay guys, we're on top of this Cougar 19 foot uh, travel trailer. Give you an overview of what all we did. We got three solar panels, 165 watts a piece for a total of, what is that, 590? These were off of uh, Brian Boone's website. We use Rano G uh, mounts, three on each side. Went into a splitter and then into the roof penetration. We'll go down inside the trailer and have a look. This is a friend of mine, this trailer, and he wanted it a certain way, and we discussed the best ways we could get it done. If you have questions about how we did it, I will have a three-part program of details of step-by-step. -step. We come through the roof penetration right here and inside the closet down through the nightstand into the basement. Go through a 40 amp breaker into the charge controller. Echo power, no idea they're all over eBay. Out of there, uh, we got another breaker to protect from the batteries. The positive goes to the battery side of the disconnect switch, the negative goes all the way to the battery. And then we have uh, the power coming from the battery through the switch through a 200 amp breaker or, or fuse that is catastrophic failure fuse into the inverter pure sine wave inverter what are we calling that a pro tech no power tech on another bargain buy um, we got our remote switch plugs in here. Got our communication for our solar plugged in here. And then we have a two, number 12 cord. Come down into, we got just a little bit of extra. Come through the floor. Let's go underneath and look at that penetration. Get a look at the batteries comes through the floor we have uh, uh, shrink wrap at all the penetrations to help protect the insulation plus I got silicone all through there there's our batteries okay then our, our 120 volt comes through the floor too and follows this frame rail and around and then we go through the frame rails you have room for a penetration and shrink wrap screws follows the length of the trailer again shrink wrap silicone and we pop through under a little compartment by the refrigerator. That's also where our 30 amp service comes in. When that 20 amp cord comes through the floor, it comes in right inside this compartment where the 30 amp is. It's temporarily plugged into the uh, kilowatt just kind of doing some testing now the very first thing before we ever plug in we need to make sure our converter breaker is off if you don't have a converter breaker the only way this setup works is if you unplug the inverter while you're hooked up to the power inverter so there it is here's our power switch on for the power inverter Here's our solar, making a quick recovery. 
and that's it appreciate you watching like I said you can check uh, my uh, playlist and we will show you exactly what we did step by step installing this whole mess appreciate you watching